Hi, Vimes. Peppa, I don't want to die. So, like, I missed a few uploads, like, one or two, according to my upload schedule, which I don't really have. I'm just, like, pretending like I do. This video is also kind of old. In fact, I think it might be a year old. In fact, I really don't know because I don't feel like checking. I really don't like intros, so I could just skip one all together, but I just don't really like that for my, um, personal consumption. It tastes so good going down my thrussy. We make it with Granny Smith's Discharge. So I'm gonna tell you what I've been in the, like, four, three weeks, something. I gave a speech to my class about who would want to fight the Teletubbies or the Wiggles. <laughs> that was pretty great. I had my friend's parent, they gave me a really long talk about how I could do better in a romantic partner than a doorknob. You how you are, you just have to say that you're fine when you're not really fine, but you just can't get into it because they would never understand. And oh yeah, I almost got into a car accident two days ago, which was really exciting. And I, I did get it on video, but I can't show it to you because if two people find it, then we'll get in serious trouble. Put your seatbelts on. Yellow. I said. Oh, she called you for this. <laughs> Don't do driving. <laughs> I said you. Put that big Mac truck right in the cylindrical vibe. Oh. But yeah, yeah, the makeup, great. Anyway, so the first thing that I did was I glued down my eyebrows and I glued them like this where I just went pa 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 and I just put the glue all over it. But in my today standards, that is to brush the glue against the way your hair grows so then you get it on the other side. Then you get it in like circles just to make sure that the glue gets everywhere. And then you take an eyebrow comb and then you brush the hairs upwards to lay them down flat and then you take the glue stick and then you lay it down flat again just to make sure that it's flat and secured. And then also just put on some foundation. I put it on with the brush and then a sponge but that's completely optional i put it everywhere including my lips just because it's easier for me to block out my whole face that way and for this step i think i it was a concealer part i really don't know to block out my eyebrows because truly i don't know how so in today's standards of life i keep saying that i'm so sorry i use mayron's cream blend stick and i use a shade that is closest to my skin tone i don't know what it is besides that it's called a cream blend stick but i treat it like it's paint and i guess i'm also using this stick as a way to conceal my face i kind I kind of did this a lot back then just because uh, if I didn't really know the person's features that well, I would just lay down the highlights so then I could figure it out. But most of the time, and in fact, it did pretty much just get covered up by contour eventually. I'm taking this cool tone light brown color and I'm starting to contour the nose. And for Dennis O'Hare's nose, it's rather, um, I'd say sharp, but I think if I remember correctly, it's a bit hooked to the side. But once again, could be a liar. So Where's your mama gone? Where's your mama gone? Where's your mama gone? I also know that the tip of their nose is pretty defined, so I try and add like a ball shape so it looks more defined. As I said, great, moving on. Then I'm also thinning out the lips by adding a dark line below them. Nowadays I wouldn't do that, but I still do it sometimes because um, I'm forgetful. So typically now, I would add the cream blend stick, and if you don't have that, uh, I recommend using concealer, and then I put on my lip just to make it look a bit smaller. Then I make the laugh lines, and I try and like blend it outwards so it goes up the cheek just so it looks more of like a shadow as laugh lines typically are. And then I'm starting to add wrinkles underneath the chin and also to the laugh lines, but I think they get lost later on, so you know, whatever. And then now I'm starting to make the eyes more hooded. Nowadays, I would be more precise with it. I would take a much darker color and I'd use it with a um, finer brush so I can get more into detail. But I started adding wrinkles to the top of the nose bridge and the forehead. And and then I start to contour the cheekbones. I make it really defined because so hair has exceptionally defined cheekbones. And I'm also adding some eyeshadow to the edges of my face. This is because Dennis O'Hare's face is longer than mine and it's also a bit thinner. If you add a dark color to the side of your face, it will thin it out and sometimes it'll help you make it longer. But if a person's chin is much longer than yours, you might want to add shadow so right here and it just looks longer and then i'm adding some random lip gloss to my lips because um, i've never used it before and probably for a good reason and then i'm taking some blue eyeshadow and listen i don't know why it's like this for like a, for a lot of male characters in tv or film and also just transgender characters in general where they just have like i'm not necessarily bad makeup but like it doesn't look Right? For instance, uh, Dennis O'Hare's makeup as Liz Taylor is, uh, it's more square and boxish, which is a bit weird. 
you know, I don't really know how to explain it. So, uh, yeah, so the eyeshadow is going to look weird, but that's just how it is in the show. Hey, besties. I recorded that video at like 8 in the morning, so I really wasn't all there, and I don't know what I was talking about half the time. But what I was trying to get at is a lot of the times in movies and I guess just other things like television shows and possibly on theatrical productions, which I'm not too familiar with. A lot of the times, male characters or even transgender characters or drag queens will have like not necessarily good makeup and that's fine sometimes it's just when it happens so much like it is happening in pop culture now it comes this harsh stereotypes where like oh men can't do makeup or transgender people look weird with makeup and um i don't really appreciate that and that's what i was trying to get at for but fortunately we're at a good like time period now where like it is more accepting for men or just males in general to wear makeup So I think I was making it sound like, oh, men can't do makeup or transgender people can't do makeup, which wasn't what I was trying to get at because I mean, I'm trans. Um, and I was just saying, I really don't like the fact that we continue to have men in pop culture with stereotypically bad makeup. Then I'm taking some black eyeshadow and I'm starting to make the boxy eyeliner. It's really thick and uh, instead of being pointy at the end, it's a little real square, so. Then I'm taking this light blue eyeshadow, which I believe is uh, glittery, but I could be a liar. And I'm starting to add it to the outer edges of my eyeshadow. Then I'm taking this dark brown eyeshadow, I'm starting to make the eyebrow. If I would do this nowadays, I would start out with a lighter eyeshadow, and then I would take a fine brush, and then I'd take dark eyeshadow, and then I would start drawing it on as if there were hairs there. And to make my eye look larger on the bottom, I'm taking a white and I'm sticking it there, which probably isn't healthy. I'm pretty sure you're not meant to put paint onto your eye, but, but I don't care about my health, so I'm not really worried about that. I'm just saying, hey, if you don't want to damage your eye, maybe don't use paint on it. And I'm taking a dark brown eyeshadow, and I'm starting to darken all the contour. I pretty much just apply this to everywhere I put the lighter contour on before. And And then I'm taking an even darker color because I think I realized that it just wasn't hitting right. It wasn't tickling my pickle. I just think that everything needed to be defined more because as I added the eyeshadow, you really couldn't see my features or Dennis O'Hare's features that I was trying to make on my face. When I go for the wrinkles, I take a finer brush and then I start filling them in the spaces. Then I'm taking the dark brown eyeshadow that I used for the eyebrows again, and I'm starting to make the face look longer. Once again, I guess Dennis O'Hare had a longer and skinnier face than mine, so I'm adding eyeshadows to the edges of the face where I said would help it make my face look more like Dennis O'Hare's, yeah. I also add the contour to my cheekbones, I guess. Um, and when I said cheekbones, I actually lied because it looks like I'm literally doing it everywhere, so, um, yeah. Then it looked like Dennis O'Hare had a bit of stubble on what picture I was looking at. So I take this, uh, I believe it's called texturing sponge. Anyways, I put some brown contour onto it and I'm starting to apply it to the areas where it looked like there was stubble. Then I'm taking some lip gloss, I guess, and I'm starting to add it to my face. I got, I'm assuming I did it to add blush and highlight all in one because it is a bit shimmery. And then I'm adding a shiny eyeshadow to use the highlight again. So yeah. Then I'm taking whatever concealer that I used earlier and I'm starting to, I guess, add more highlights to my face, except they're not shiny. I really don't know what I was going for, but I went for something, so you're welcome. Then I'm taking white paint, I'm starting to further highlight the face. Then I'm taking this dark blue eyeshadow and I'm mixing it with some white foundation. The white foundation is completely uh, optional. I just use it because it's more liquidy and so then the paint goes farther, um, but it also doesn't dry up at all, which I used Reese Oil Cream. I don't know what paints I use because the brand changes the name all the time and it just, it just won't dry up. But if you add the white foundation, it just won't dry up, period. Like, there's no way. But I'm starting to make out whatever accessory they had. I don't know if it was a dress. I don't know if it was a scarf. I really don't know fashion.
Then I'm taking black paint and I'm starting to make whatever pieces in the middle. I start by adding the boob thing and then I just fill it in black. And I, I, I think the texture it was supposed to be was lace, but it had a really pretty design. Um, but I'm dumb and I don't know how to make out details, so I just improvise on all of them. So if you want to make it accurate, um, please don't take my advice for any of this. So I start by making like a... I guess if you were trying to make like scales, right? You would you do it scale shape and then you make it you make it curvy as it goes up. That's kind of the vibe I was going. And I add it to uh, the middle and then the leftmost and the rightmost side. And I'm starting to add two little scaly pieces um, in the center of each of those. And but I fill in the two little ones. And then I make more scale pieces going down my neck. I just kind of make this everywhere. And and then I'm starting to add whatever like lace cross pattern it has. So I'll make a line go diagonally one way, diagonally the other way, and then I'll make it vertically. And I pretty much do this everywhere. And then I fill in the little scales that I had underneath it. And then I'm making more scales in between. And then I'm adding the cross pattern um, onto those pieces. For the scale pieces that I originally added, I add a curved line on top of them to close them off, and then I add the cross pattern onto it. If we go back to the cross pieces on the top, I then make a little bit petal shape, I guess. And then I'm pretty sure if I remember correctly that I did the shape that I was intending to do wrong. So now it looks like I just made little circles around the little petals. Then if I go into the middle underneath the original shape that I made above the breast thing, it looks like I'm trying to make a flower, so I made like a heart shape originally, and I'm starting to make more petal shapes to the outer edges of them. And then I make like a big circle or whatever that shape is around that whole thing at the cross stitch pattern, and then it looks like I'm adding small little flowers on the outside leftmost, rightmost areas. And then I'm adding the cross pattern, and I guess everywhere where I didn't add it before. And then I'm taking this white paint mixed with some blue paint and I'm starting to make like a highlight color. And I was really bad at highlighting them. I still think I am now. So yeah, I'm just adding it to where I think it would look better if it was highlighted. But please, if you are gonna do this, look at the picture and figure out what the highlights are. I just completely improvised it. Um, anyways, yes, that was it for the tutorial. If you haven't liked it for whatever reason, um, leave a like and I love hearing feedback. So if you comment something, that'd be greatly appreciated. And um, subscribe if you want to. You don't have to, but like you can and in fact if you want to you probably should because you should do what you want to do yeah you're welcome bye